Hello everyone and welcome to Wednesday. Today, we're going to be making some good food, which is kind of a Stephen Fogg thing. We try to make good food, and today we're going to be making something that we've never made before. It's a new dish, but it's also something that we are pretty excited about. We're making a portobello panini sandwich. We have a panini. Yeah, admittedly, we don't have a panini press. So, that part's going to be... We're, we're kind of improvising a little bit. It's also going to be more like probably a grilled cheese sandwich with mushrooms. But I like grilled cheese sandwiches, and I like mushrooms, so I'm expecting good things. So um, the recipe is something uh, Mal found online. We'll post it in the description so you guys have it. Uh, what is the first step? Uh, mushrooms. We have mushrooms. And tablespoon. A tablespoon of soy sauce. And a tablespoon of balsamic. Okay. Now, because we're using sliced mushrooms, I doubled that, so it's two and two. That's fair. Because, like, a full one. Yeah, and actually, um, the recipe calls for, like, what, a cap? Yeah. A portobello cap, so we didn't want to use that, so now we're just using portobellas. Same thing, just in a different form factor. The recipe actually says to put the mushrooms in the oven. But Mouse just gonna saute them. It's 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 gonna be the same thing. All right, so these are the mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Cooked down a little bit. We put all that stuff in them and sauteed them until they look like that. Uh huh. And then these are onions. I just sort of caramelized them with a little bit of garlic and a little bit of olive oil. Okay. I had you cut the cheese. Ha 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 ha! Farts. It's and fresh mozzarella. You also by the way. Cut, the cut, cut it. Cut the tomatoes. I did cut it, the tomatoes. Thank you. All right. So now what do we have? Now we're going to start putting this all together. We're going to butter the toast, bread, and then we're going to layer it like a grilled cheese. And pesto's involved? Yes. Dang, man. Pesto, mushrooms, I know, it's everything mozzarella, tomato. This sounds really good. There's like, I'm continuing to learn that there's more things on the sandwich I even knew was going to be on the sandwich, and I am increasingly excited. Now I'm a toast. So you're putting the buttered bread down on the thing. Uh-huh. Okay. All four slices. If I can fit them. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> that works fine. Now we're gonna start assembling. So we need some pesto. Okay. And the pesto is cold, so it's not cooperating. That's good stuff. And I'm arbitrarily picking onions to go next. <laughs> but if you don't do onions next, then the sandwich will not have the structural integrity that it needs to. Badger, badger, badger. Mushrooms, mushrooms. Tomatoes! Also, I think it's worth noting that the mushrooms are literally all the mushrooms. We didn't, like, take any away. They just really cook down a lot. It's amazing. And last, fresh mozzarella. I love fresh mozzarella. If you had a panini press, this would be going a little differently, but Mal's just going to use the spatula. It sort of works. So here's the finished product. It's cooked, the cheese is melted. We're going to slice it for convenience and beauty. <laughs> Man, I am excited to put that in my mouth. I'm very excited to put that in my mouth. I like it. I like it a lot. Admittedly, I'm a huge fan of pesto, mushrooms, mozzarella, everything on this. It's a great combination. It's a really great sandwich. Do you remember the tomato basil sandwiches I was making? Mm-hmm. Like yeah. the, the caprese sandwiches? How does this compare? Because it's a few of the same ingredients. Um, I don't know. It's been a while since I've had those. Both are great. Both are great. And this is really good. I love mushrooms. I love mushrooms. I feel... I feel upset when, when people don't like them because they're so good. The bread is really good. Mm -hmm. This is that local bread bakery up the road. Mm -hmm. It will always, it also be good as a panini. Mm -hmm. But we don't have that. Anyway, looks like a storm is rolling in. Getting kind of ugly out there. Sagan now knows how to use his doggy door, which is great. Cap, scared of it. This is fascinating. It's going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? Mm. We decided to have one dessert instead of three. But we could have had three. No. We must be after the icon. On your way, Arbiter. I'll deal with these beasts.